It's definitely speak to your therapist about it because it's not normal having those types of feelings for your family members. And I can tell you feel guilty about it. But anyway, we'll talk about that after. We live? Yeah, we're rolling. <laughs> Welcome to episode number 36 of the Martin Michael Foley actual podcast. There's only four episodes left. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. See? Five yeah. episodes left. Four, four or five. five. Isn't that funny? 36th episode and there's still five left if we include this one. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Wow. So after today, and then we have four left, but just now, still That's, five. That one's happening right still now. Still a complete five left. Can you shut the fucking doors, please, Matt? Sorry. Um, man. Oh, man. Let's fucking... We need to talk about some shit. <sighs> Like, it's just crazy. Yeah? We are officially broke. We do not get paid from social media anymore. Yeah, well, the video... Look, we got a reach restriction and um, we kept... We're, we're we bitched about this last week, but it's official now, guys. Yeah, it's official. We, you know, the coin car video, it's, it's on like fucking... So, on average, just to put this into perspective, because whatever we say, you guys are going to be like, oh, that's still heaps. But on average, if we upload a video to Facebook, it gets 1 million views in 24 hours for a page our size at the moment with the reach, reach restriction. And, and, you know, we'd probably maybe get 5 million views on a video on Facebook in about a week. Um, at the moment, we're putting lots of effort into our videos, probably more effort than we usually do, eh? The coin car video, it's done like 300,000 views in like three days or some shit. So, yeah, that really worked out well, even though we no, spent we, like and we five sort of, days on yeah, it. Yeah, we sort of rely on the videos to do well so that we make the money back that we spend on them. But um, it's not really happening at the moment. But hey, that reminds me that this podcast is sponsored by University of Markle, our website where there's fucking 100, over 120 fucking videos on there over 120 videos on there and um yeah well, they're too fucked up to post on social media so we put them there it's five dollars a month go on have a cheeky look it's uh, support the podcast <laughs> see if it breaks, breaks if you throw that up. up i've got a light bulb in my hand and michael's asking me to throw it not on the ground on the table see if we can get it out the glass in our eyes i'll go higher You're not a very good thrower, eh? I sucked eh? at that. that Matt got so scared, he thought I was breaking the technologies. 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 Tech, tech, technologies. Um, yeah, so that's- Marty made a girl called Rupert yesterday. <laughs> Rupert? Who the fuck names a chick Rupert? <laughs> Do you know that? <laughs> no. I thought it was a guy. Did you name. hit her? I don't even remember telling you that. You told me this morning in the car. Yeah, that was a lie, man. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Hey, can I ask going. a question about the social media dilemma? You sure you're can, in? Matthew. Um, Fine then. Is there no way to contest what you guys are going through like in terms of restrictions and stuff like that? No. There's no way. We tried no. already. It is a one year restriction and that is all. So, we are basically fucked for a year. No, we're not. There's other ways. Don't worry, everyone. We'll be fine. All right? Don't you fucking worry about us. We'll be fucking fine. We're going to keep pumping awesome videos out and just hope for the best. All right? We got on the radio. Oh, yeah. We Triple had, M. We Shout Triple out M. to Triple M. Triple M did a really nice interview with us. They spoke about the coin car that one of them saw on there and the AFL final. And they fucking thought it was awesome. So fucking legends. <coughs> Is there anywhere of like listening to that again? Do they? Yeah, I got my phone, Matt. Sorry. I got my fucking right phone. There, I'll you show you dickhead. Up, you bro. fucking dickhead. I'll show you the video. You if you show me your ass, you fucking you cunt. Fucking cunt. Fucking cunt. Oh. Take your shirt off. <laughs> Yeah, can you sit in your? Can you be in your undies take for your us? Take your fucking shirt off. I'm in my undies. No, okay, take your shirt off. Yeah, take I'll your shirt off. I get to see my pull, your, pull your undies up high. Uh. Yeah, can you? We got to see your ass last Come week. Come on, let's, let's see a bit of cheek, up. brother. Huh? Let's see a bit of fucking <laughs> cheek, brother. Get a tit out or something. Give us oh, something sure. to look at. I just did the whole podcast preparation. Show us some shirtless. back. Show us yeah. some lower back. Oh, I love my lower back. Mm, here we go. He's standing up. Mm. Oh, yeah. Pull that right up, brother. Ooh, mm. Not bad. I love his fair skin. It reminds me of me. Mm. Smooth, soft flesh. Oh. Run a scalpel over it. No worries. <laughs> mm. 
Uh, what do we got coming up? This we got on this day. We got questions. We got PO unboxing. We got sentences no one's ever said before. We got secrets, and then we got fucking prank call, bro. And then we got fucking state of origin. Yeah, that's not tomorrow. I'm going. I'm fucking going. I'm stuck to say everyone's going to be gonna like, go you're fucking it. You're going to go score a try. <laughs> On this day in 1940. A large family of turtles washed up on an American shore. People were stomping them and crushing them for a laugh when one shocked passerby saved one of the small baby turtles. He raised the small turtle all on his own and even be- even taught it to speak. The turtle began to adopt some very human traits, and when the turtle was four years old, it asked its owner to have its shell surgically removed. After a three-hour operation, the shell was removed and the turtle legally changed its name to Danny DeVito. Danny then went on to become a Hollywood movie star and a talented rapist. He does look fucking weird, eh? Hey? I Danny love him. DeVito? Who here has seen the show? We've probably already spoken to this. Always, Always sunny, sunny in Philadelphia. Philadelphia. You got to give it more of a chance. He fucking gave up on it. Really? It is the best show since Vietnam. And Danny's in it. There's a show called Vietnam? Yeah. I don't know. I just say that. It would be. Oh. There definitely would be. Um, yeah, there would be. Good Morning Vietnam. That's more of a movie. That's a movie. He, yeah, sorry, keep going. Anyway, great show. Fuck, I love it. Danny DeVito's a turtle. He's so good in it. I He's thought so he was a funny. penguin. He's a fucking turtle. Oh, that's well, bad. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. He's the one who fucking wrote this. God. God, it's hot. On this day in 2014, Robin Williams was denied the leading role in a movie when it was revealed he was too short. He had heard about an ancient method to become taller, which involves stretching one's body to make it longer. Robin had not researched how best to use the stretcher, and something horrible happened. He wrapped the stretcher machine around his neck instead of his waist. He didn't get any taller. And because he didn't get any taller, he got so depressed that he later hung himself. Holy shit, so that's the reason. Yeah, that's why. If he just knew how to use the stretcher, he would have been fine. Well, they say the key to happiness is, is to be tall. tall. That's why Michael's always laughing. That's why they fucking planted me. I wanted to be happier. <sighs> Matt? <sighs> On this day in 2000 and Paul Walker. Paul Walker said, Ah, oh, shit, I'm running late. Oh, fucking hell, Matt. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> that is, that is, that's not even witty, what the man. That's just fuck fucking. Is that? Wow, it's disgusting. Sorry, guys. Uh, what would happen if I nothing. squeeze this as hard as possible? Nothing. Put a dent in it. No, you're going to get battery acid in your eyes and it's going to eat through and corrode at your brain. And then you're going to get fucking lymphatic cancer and you're oh. fucking dead within two months, cunt. That sort of damage you don't recover from. You fucking hear me, cunt? What would happen? Don't play with batteries. That's why my mum, I've heard that before. She said that to me. On this day, Uh, in 2020, Daniel Craig was found digging up old graves and body slamming the corpses. He had four corpses dug up and and it was obvious he had been physically aggressive. When asked why he was doing that, he said he was trying to find Sean Connery so he could consume his flesh. Daniel thinks that if he can consume the flesh of every James Bond actor, that he will actually be James Bond. Pierce Brosnan is said to be in hiding. Wow. That's disgusting. He's only just died. I guess that's when sort of when you want to get him. His flesh is still not decomposed yet. Yeah. We spoke about what we'd eat first on a human. Thigh, wasn't it? Thigh. Oh, you said my... I love the thigh. Bum. I'd go bum. Bum and thigh. Thigh. Slow slow cook the ass flesh. It's the biggest muscle on the body. The glute. You slow cook it. She's fucking comes off the bone. Can't, you can slide the femur bone right out of it, bro. Toot, toot, toot. Oh. I cook a couple of fucking three hours or something like a brisket. Get a nice fucking salt rub on the fucking outside of it. And fucking, fucking scratch it all up. Fucking bit of bread, count. Oh, oh, I hate that character. Bloody barbecue sauce on me. Fucking delicious, count. Delicious. Fucking delicious, count. <laughs> anyway, I'm a footy fan. Let's uh, get into this. We got a lot of shit to get through today. We got f- like fucking 20 segments of some shit count. 
Um, fucking next segment's been fucking called. And this is just where we answer questions on the YouTube podcast channel. Marty and Michael Folly Actual. If you want us to answer your questions, comment on the YouTube podcast channel. Matthew Brown. Hmm. Here we go. Let's see. Actually, the first question is from me. Oh, I have a yes. question. Why haven't you got your shirt off? Fucking cunt. You just said raise the shirt to show oh, the back. You so didn't say take it off. I've got fucking bipolar. All right. Um, my question is, uh, have you guys ever considered doing a a one-off yes. or yes. maybe once a month podcast specifically for the website? <laughs> Well, if fucking our luck keeps going the way it is, is this channel will probably get deleted and then we'll probably have to put them on the website. No, this won't get deleted. Um, we, we're thinking about maybe putting an extra segment or two in for the website, people. Yeah. We've oh, got we're done yeah, we've got big now. changes coming next yeah, year, guys. It's, change come it's very tiring. Yeah. We're very tired. Slimy I am. It's all hot. Mm. These wigs are quite warm. Yeah, very hot. Next question um, is from Lake MacBogan. Um, if you could make a candle that smells like a celebrity's fart, whose fart would you want it to be and why? Mm. Make a cake or a candle? A candle no. that smells like a celebrity's fart. Oh, whose would it be? Probably um, the Rock. <laughs> Some big protein fart. Yeah, because it'd be fucking. It'd be interesting. It'd be lots of things in that smell. You know, it'd be uh, a concoction of many, many smells. And I like that. I think that if you're gonna buy a candle, you want it to be you know a crazy scent. You don't want it just boring vanilla scent. You want a proper. You want to fucking smell the whole house out. You want to stain the walls. You want to be success. Exactly right. I go... Paul Walker? Maybe... Next. Yeah, I don't even know. I can't think of one. I reckon... Um, Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> yeah, for you. He's Michael. not a celebrity. He'd fart oh, out he kids... Now. He'd fart out kids... <laughs> kid... <laughs> <laughs> kids can't come. <laughs> can oh. kid, 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 Maybe cut cum. that, Connor. We can't talk about kids... Cum. Really? Yeah, just cut everything before the kids. <laughs> he'd fart. He'd fart out little kids' no, you fingers. Can, you can, he'd fart out little kids' fingernails and shit. He, he, no, you can say he can fart out kids. <laughs> okay, Connor, just cut me. Keep all that me in, saying good. I don't want to. I don't want to say the words. Have the words kids <laughs> come out of my mouth. <laughs> So you just cut all. Wait, of well it. now you're getting me scared. Well, you saw. You don't think so, right? <laughs> what the? What's wrong with saying kids come? You tell me, mate. What do you reckon's wrong with that? Oh, well, there, there was nothing too wrong until you started saying it. You over started and repeating over. it. You start <laughs> fucking kids now, come. Turn it into a fucking yeah. Now fucking it's really, song, a fucking really song clear. and dance about it, mate. <laughs> Especially yours. Your version was really yeah, clear. Was, yours was particularly disgusting. <laughs> Fuck it. Leave this whole thing in. I reckon that's funny. <laughs> Don't you think? Yeah, we... As long as I'm not saying those two words together. Yeah, maybe beep it when Marty says it and keep it when I say it. Um, <laughs> next question is from Anton Amacanian. Um, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember. Um, I actually missed his question last podcast, so he's quite... Um, Irritated by that, so my hey, apologies. Hey, that's our fucking Anton. nail. Yeah, I'm not gonna burn. I'm just having a bit of a play. Burning. What if the there's p- anthrax in it and you've burnt some the flammable count that fucking blows up my hand? Sorry, we weren't listening to you, Matthew Gregory Brown. Uh, question was: um, a grizzly bear, two gorillas, and a tiger. You choose one to defend you from the other two animals. Which would you choose? A grizzly, grizzly bear. What was the last one? Grizzly bear, two gorillas, and a tiger. Mm. Who would you choose to defend you from the others? I'd probably go two, two gorillas because one gorilla can take one and the other gorilla can take Smart. the other. Yeah, well, like you too. fucking leg. They're really strong. Mm. And they put up a good fight. All right, yeah, I'm with this on that. Yeah. Uh, next easy. question is from Vedant. Um, what is Marty's full name? Martin Zokolinski. Next question is from um, one of our regulars, Nikki. Can never pronounce her last name. Nikki, please tell me how to pronounce your name because I'm really bad at it. Um, she's from Germany. She's from Poland. Oh, really? No. No, I'm pretty sure she's from Germany. Uh, 
Do Marty's parents blame Michael that Marty hasn't chosen a proper job? And do Michael's parents blame Marty for the same? I reckon deep down there's like, fuck, I wish Michael never met Marty. (laughs) But then my mom's too nice. So she's just sort of. So she's going to bottle that feeling up. No. And like, she's just grown to love him. I reckon dad's like, you know, Marty's a fucking freak. What the fuck? Like, remember when we used to shower together? Yeah, we, used, we used to fucking get in the fucking shower and scrub each other's backs. <laughs> and not even just me and Marty, like our whole group of friends. We all just shower together. And this is at my house that we always stayed at. So with my the, parents with were just the bathroom like, door open. <laughs> we have been walking past like that and we say wave at them and things. <laughs> There's shit crystals all over the walls. Yeah. <laughs> Michael would pull his cheeks apart in the shower, press his asshole against the wall and fart, leaving little brown specks, and he would let them dry. Yeah, he kept them there. See how long they'd stay there. Have little patterns. <laughs> but yeah, I reckon they would have preferred if I never met him. But I reckon now, since what's happened and now we're fucking, we're, we're comfortable She's she's a fan. She loves Marty. I reckon Dad might be like, oh, I don't actually, I reckon Dad's cool with it. What do you think? Yeah, I, I think Mum just <laughs> just wishes we we never fucking started the videos. <laughs> tell tell them what your mum had to hear when I tried to pick you up for Christmas one year. Yeah, what was it? <laughs> I think you invited me up because they were all at the table having lunch. Oh, and you and said like, you're not wearing any clothes or something. <laughs> yeah, I think I had no clothes on for some reason. <laughs> And like it was on the loudspeaker for the buzz up. Yeah, we're the- having a Christmas breakfast on Christmas morning, and I was gonna. Me and Michael always get used to just get fucked up on Christmas. So Michael was downstairs to pick me up, and he buzzed, and then it, the speaker comes on in the entire apartment, and my whole family was listening. And Michael didn't know, and I was like, "Oh, just come up for a second. He's like, "Oh, I, I, I'm not wearing any clothes." <laughs> <laughs> and my family was like, "What the fuck is he doing down there naked?" <laughs> I don't know why I had no clothes either. What the fuck? And anyway. Li- and then we listened to Black Sabbath while driving back to Michael's, flipping everyone off. Yeah, we just drive around on Christmas flipping people off. <laughs> it's so rude. <sighs> Next question is from Gargoyle Jones. Um, question, question for, for Michael. Michael. Michael, Michael, could you be Kiko. agile and quick enough to dodge Marty's... I'm going to say Marty's ejaculation. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it, would, it wouldn't be that fast. They said blown nut here, but I felt like I should change it to ejaculation. Blown nut. Yeah. Would you I be reckon. fast enough to dodge that if it was shot out at you? Yeah. Well, let's see. Okay. He says it should be an idea for a video. Yeah, mm. maybe a website video. Mm. Anyway. Trying to be like Spider-Man. Oh, flick my spunk at you. Flicking around. Next question is from Al Pal. Um, Marty, uh, what are your stats on cows? How many have you had? Oh, look, I don't keep count, but if I had to guess, I'd say it's over 100. It's over 100, somewhere between 100 and 150. Nice. And like, That's why you, I close my eyes when you do that. Do you count the corpses? <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Next question is from Madison Linville. Um, oh, uh, oh, sorry. No! Yeah, oh, dude, let's do it. I'll do it. I've got a um, we've got we've- a tool and I'm clamping a lighter and Michael's really excited. He's going to explode. I could just squeeze it. It explodes. Do you want me to do it? No. Oh, it'd be exciting for the ping and cling cling. Maybe for stunt time, you can do it. Okay. Uh, would you ever give um, the chance for a website member to be the background on the podcast? No, oh, that's not a yeah, bad that's idea. Yeah, that's a fucking great that's idea. A fucking great idea. There's a competition. Or How do we get them? Like send it through. They'll send through a photo. Send through your mug shots every On fucking... Instagram. You could do a competition for that, I reckon. Yeah. 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 Uh, next question is from Jacob Dickerson. Um, have you guys had any weird stalkers yet? Anyone that followed you home or some Remember shit? you had one back in the day before we cracked it? Yeah. The one who lived nearby. Yeah. Always yeah, we've had came some, past. We've had some weird 
sort of overly friendly people and there's been some weird interactions in public where people just sort of follow and stare and are strange but no nothing nothing crazy yeah yeah guys if you uh if you see us I always get messages from people saying I was too scared to come up. Just come and say hello. We'll, that remember that dude that came up today? Yeah, he didn't have yeah. his phone on him, so we got a photo with him with our phone. Yeah, he didn't have his phone, so I took a photo of him. I'll put it up for you guys. I'll show you guys what happened. All right. Okay. Here we go. See, I took three of the best. And he for liked those this. See on he's YouTube. like, can you send it to me? And then we sort of laughed for off those, and walked away. Those see on you watch them on YouTube. There you go. There he is. <laughs> you looking at me. I'm looking up. I'm like looking camera. Oh, it's, beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Next question is from Matt Sheehan. Can you legends bring Arnold out in public and see how people react to certain things? I think he's worth more than a few prank calls. Arnold Fine is he's. he's He's a fine damn man. He's, he's growing in popularity, isn't he? He's Arnold fucking Arnold. beautiful. Yeah, there were a few comments about Arnold. Fuck me. I can't wait for the prank call today. <laughs> <laughs> he's the best guy I've ever met. He's so fucking beautiful. Arnold's fine. <laughs> he's such a proud man. Where'd you get that shirt from, Michael? I don't remember. Um, he built it. I can't remember. Hmm. I got two. I got a black one and a white. Oh, <laughs> a white one, you dick. <laughs> oh, shut yes. your fucking mouth. You me, you fucking. Oh, why didn't you fucking prolong it? Because you made me cross. <laughs> it's clear. It's no, clear it's air. Not. No, it's not. Yeah, well, it's fucking. It's... I got it. I got oh. It. Oh yeah, there it is. Just thick. It takes a while. Like Whoa. S- like soup running it's down smog. a cupboard drawer. It's brown smog. Next question is from Punter ninety two. Uh, would you boys collab with Houston Jones, the world's strongest bodybuilder, in a pain gauntlet? Never heard of him, and yes, neither have I. But I thought you would collab with him if the chance came up. Give him our address, Matt. All right, I'll send it to him. Hey, give stuff I could do. I could do. Don't, Michael. Don't say that, man. Cut cut him saying that, Connor. <laughs> um, next question is from Benjamin Hogg. When did Michael leave the band Hanson? <laughs> uh, when was it? Late 90s? Did he leave? But he still consults. Like, they literally still send him uh, songs and stuff. But I, I get know. royalties. Yeah, and surely they'll never get back together. No. Yeah. No. Well, there you go. Yeah, like late 90s, 98, 99. Roger. Michael, Michael left Hanson. Mm. Mm. Bop. Yeah. Mm. Uh, next question is from Melvin Pie Dad. Um, if the Cold Ones podcast, which is another podcast, uh, which is hosted by Chad and Max Mofo, would invite you guys as guests, would you accept it? Yes. 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 Roger. Yes. Another Australian podcast group. All yeah, right. I know Max Mofo. I was with him last night. There you go. Next question is from Sabrina Matira. Matira? Matira? Matira. Uh, what are the three important questions you always wanted to ask Bosley if he could talk? Um, Who are you? Are you happy? Um, What's your name? Um, he knows his name. Yeah, I know. <laughs> are you in any pain? <laughs> And um, what do you want to do? <laughs> Are you in any pain is going to suck either way because if he says yes... You then can't. I'll change my follow-up question. I'll say, where is your pain? Uh-huh. Well, just maybe just start with, is there any pain in you and where? Mm-hmm. Fuck, it's sort of two questions. Mm-hmm. Is there? Are you in pain? I can just say like that, Matthew. Where is your pain, you should say. And then he's like, I haven't got pain. Then you're sweet. Or he's like, my leg or my eye. Or, or my I could heart. say, if... If you have pain, comma, where is it? That's one wow, question. that's good English. Yeah, wow. That's fucking teacher shit. Thanks, man. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Next question. Um, Madison again. Uh, do your family members watch your videos or do they not claim you as family? <laughs> no, nah, my, my brother, I think, does with his family. But um, <clears throat> yeah, mum definitely doesn't. It's, she's not our demographic either, brother. Whoop, <laughs> Does your mum have Facebook? Yeah, of course. But no, yeah, I don't think so. I'd say maybe. I wonder if any of my cousins listen to it. Yeah, sure. Maybe, 
Maybe not. Does any of your family disown you <laughs> over it? I don't really have much family. So I don't know. I've just got my fucking brother and mother and <sighs> stepdad and that'll fucking... Yeah, I don't think so. I don't really talk to them much. And the last question is from Megan Gale. I can't remember the name. We'll say Gale. Um, would you guys ever start an OnlyFans and but- do nudes? <laughs> nah. Well, the website... Nah, that's not really fucking porn. Is nah, it? I don't. I don't, yeah, I don't There's know. a bit of scat porn on there, actually. Call me. Old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Yeah, we do some pretty <laughs> gross shit on the website, but no, nah, I'm. Yeah, I don't know. Just it's just not my thing. Taking fucking nudes and shit. Mind you, the money would be nice. Maybe it's a good plan. B. Maybe just some nipples. Just me nipples. sucking on your nipples, or <laughs> for ten minutes straight. Sloppy as You licking Marty, yeah, hemorrhoids or it something. It is. Just flicking my tongue at the, ed- at the bob of the nipple. <laughs> Give us a look at it. Oi! Let's, don't fucking touch let's me. Let's see what it would feel like. I don't want it. I, I hate it. Get your nipple out, bro. I hate people touching. Stop! I just want to have a look at it. I don't like being touched on the nipple. Let me okay, look like you that. can see it. You can see it. Don't fucking touch yeah, imagine it. Imagine my tongue. Imagine my tongue flicking on that bit there, that little circle bit. <laughs> it's like a little <laughs> chest clip. <laughs> You got a little chest clit there to play with. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, fuck you! It's the worst feeling. <laughs> oh. I don't know how people like their nipples being touched. Do you like having your nipples being touched? Oh, it depends who's touching them and, Yuck, and when. Fun. And getting and them when. licked and shit. It's fun. Mm, chest clit. Oh, anywhere. Oh, getting touched on my chest or my stomach. I fucking... I hate it. It's like the... It's, yeah. The back's fine. The front's no good. <laughs> Don't you reckon... Why the fuck do dudes have hair on their nipples and shit? It looks so gross. Look at the clit on yours. Sometimes- it's much thicker than mine. <laughs> Oh, holy shit. Mine Look at the clit on it. yours there. Don't fucking <laughs> touch it. Oh, I'm gonna suck it! Suck it! I flicked it. Um, yeah, sometimes when I'm bored and I've got nothing to do. You, you flick your tongue at I it. I start <laughs> ripping all the hairs out on my nipple and sometimes I can get them down to like completely bald. Jesus. Just shave them. No. How do you do that? Yeah. Can I rip stunt time? Oh, I've got a pair of pliers. Oh. I've got a pair of pliers. I'm going to rip some Michael's nipple hair out. I yeah. remember when we first met like two years when ago. We were on, a bender, on a bender with Fallon, Shami and Jackson. We were fucking fucked for three days and I was considering cutting one of my nipples off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did, Have you, you guys Year's heard the Eve story bender. of our friend James's friend who, where he lost it? No. And he just he just put it back on and it grew back into the skin. Oh yeah. <laughs> he lost his nipple? Yeah, it got cut off and it was just dangling there. And so he put it back on and put a I don't know, I guess put it like a band-aid over it and it healed back on. Oh lucky. Yeah. So it's possible there, Mark, you could have done yeah. the same thing. Should we'll, we do we'll, that for a video? We'll talk with him hey. and get the story. That's fucked but up. It's a good story. All right. Is that question time? That's it. That's question time done and dusted, mate. Hey everyone, it's time for a new segment. And this is a segment where we just open shit you guys have sent in via the P.O. box. And this week we have one present and it's all the way from League City in Texas, the USA. Oh, I love Texas. And it's got hashtag M-E-S-Q-U-I-T-E. C O L O G N E. So, Mesquite Cologne? I don't know what that is, but I guess we'll see. All right, I'm scared. I'm nervous. It's an envelope. I'm pulling it out. Maybe it's drugs. I'm pulling it out. What do we got here? Let me just get everything out. Oh my God. Oh, oh shit. What do we got here? Mesquite. Oh, smoke and smoke revolver and barbecue. Revolver barbecue. Okay, this is a. Uh, what is it? A fucking- Maybe a business. Yeah, this must be um, some sort of business. Smoking Revolver Barbecue. We sent in some, what are these called? Beer holders? Beer holder things. Condoms. Beer doms. And um, yeah, go and check out Smoking Revolver Barbecue on Instagram. It's Smoking Revolver BBQ001. Mesquite Cologne. So, give us a look. Three, two. Oh, Matt. Three. 
that's cute. That's very pretty. Wait, is there anything that's else on the back of these? Oh, so I found a bunch of stickers. Is it? I found their site. So it says, um, yeah, it's a cologne. Uh, for barbecues throughout the United States, seeking special. I leave them. I want to put them somewhere yeah. nice. Yeah, I am putting them somewhere. Not nice. on me. Straight on the bloody shirt that goes, mate. That sticker there. How's that bloody for you, mate? Hey. Eh? <laughs> um, we're renting our coin car out for formals. If you want one, fucking hit us up in the DMs. It's so fun driving that coin car around. Literally, everyone's just stopping and staring. Old ladies walk up to it all the time, and that's spectacular. This one is- said today. Yeah. Hey. hey! All right, next fucking segment. Oh, yeah. It's called... Beautiful. Incoming! And this is a segment where we just read secrets that you guys have sent in. Okay? Secrets from fans. Anonymous, of course. Send in your secrets. We'll keep them a secret. It's, it's crazy shit. We've had people confess to murders. We've had people... Well, it's been all sorts of fucked up, Matt. Rubbing his eye. He's got his shirt up a bit. Mm. Mm. All right. First secret is from... A few months after I broke up with my ex, she came over to my house and we ended up having fuck. I was fucking her missionary when she looked me dead in the eye as if she'd seen a ghost. I asked her, what's up? And she quickly reached for her ass and grabbed a little nugget and sprinted for the toilet. She flushed it away and I asked her what the fuck just happened. She said, nothing. We're not finished yet and made me carry on fucking her as if nothing had happened. Oh, Oh, a little nug break. That's just, that fucking, that ruins it. Oh, imagine if she didn't say anything and you just, as you're having sex, you just, as you're thrusting away, you look down and there's just a shit on your dick. Oh, like a, f- Blop. a friend had a bit of corn. A mm, bit of corn on his foreskin. Oh. Next secret. I've only had one single orgasm and have had pl- had my fair share of sexual partners, but fake it every time. I've gotten so good at faking it that I make them believe it. And sometimes I believe it, even though I didn't. I know I didn't finish. However, kind of awkward, but when I went to get my physical exam done... Slash paps me by my doctor, who who has been my doctor since I was seven. Now she's 25. I almost couldn't contain myself. He was in there swabbing, but somehow hitting sensitive areas. That's probably the closest I've gotten to orgasming for second time ever. Like an actual orgasm, not fake. Wow. There you go. What do you think, Matt? I question it. Matthew, um, Matthew doesn't believe it. He questions it. Yeah. Oh, no, she's making it up. I've she's heard, lying. I just heard like I've heard those stories before. Is that girls nearly getting off in the pap smears? But I've also heard a lot of girls say it's bullshit because it's painful. So I'd love to yeah, hear. Yeah, but from, sometimes sex is painful, and sometimes sex I'd love is to painful. hear from our female fans what they Gee. think of that. Yeah, comment below. Hey, is she lying or is she not? You be the judge. So, this story takes place in April 2019. And at the time, I had this girl I was doing stuff with, but I had a girlfriend also, and we weren't doing very well. So, in order to cope with all this, I was getting high by stealing Robitussin from CVS and drinking the bottles. So, I start my day off taking one bottle, and I go to the girl's house, and we'll chat, and I bought some weed, and another bottle. It was a good time. Then we went to Joe Traders where I had another bottle. I met a famous music producer named Diablo, had another bottle. And I actually got a picture with him too. So this day seemed to be going well so far. So I had another bottle. And after that, we go to my friend Sam's house. And once I got there, I decided that one bottle I drank early was not enough. So me and Sam leave these other three bottles to go to the nearest CVS to get more bottles. So Sam goes and steals a bottle for me. And he had his own bottle. With this drug, he would drink away more bottles and was wearing the same dirty bathrobe for bottles <laughs> while stealing Robitussin bottles from various CVS. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's nearly done here. Yeah, this um, story. <laughs> anyways, he stole two bottles, but he couldn't, but he didn't want to do it because he was already coming down from a bottle. And he had some ketamine, so the two bottles were all for me, unfortunately. So we go back to the house and have another bottle. And me and these other three people are watching Scooby-Doo on a battle, having a bottle. Or Sam snorting giant lines of ketamine in a bottle off a desk bottle. Laughing. 
and his friend who was also a, had a boyfriend was being very naughty and drinking a bottle. <laughs> I'm just chugging these two bottles for a while. And then Scooby-Doo got messed up, so she bent over right in front of, of my face to try and fix it. And she said, mm, I can't find a bottle. <laughs> While purposefully keeping a fat-ass romp poster right in front of me, so Sam, bring on ketamine and have a bottle. <laughs> and like eyes for a second, he starts dying laughing. While I was probably shook because this bitch was hot as fuck. <laughs> Add another bottle. <laughs> Is that legit? No, I put a lot of extra bottles in. This is a fucking... This is... Look at how long this is. It's like pages and pages of yeah. just nonsense. <laughs> you made it very <laughs> funny, though. Nonsense. I just took it last night. Maybe it's all real, but yeah, I wasn't really paying attention. What's this bottle shit? What is that? CBS store no, fucking... It's like, it's CBS Robert, is it's a like, pharmacy in it's America. It's like fucking uh, cough syrup and shit. Oh. Yeah, but CVS is a pharmacy. You ever had that? Yeah, but Whoa! got him, got him, got his nipple. <laughs> Fucking oh. <clears throat> anyway, had another bottle. bottle. Next mm. secret is from bottle. when I was a child. I had a treehouse in my backyard. Oh yeah, it's a pretty good secret. <laughs> no, there's, Aha, there's more. more. <laughs> got ya. My younger brother and I would put bread on the ground and carry cinder blocks out <laughs> into the treehouse. We killed hundreds of birds. <laughs> when the massive bricks flattened them, their insides would explode out of their chests like a water balloon. We thought it was hilarious. I still giggle. So what? They're <laughs> leaving breadcrumbs on the ground yeah, and they're, they're in the treehouse and they're dropping the cinder bro- blocks on what? top of the birds. Wow. You've got... That's the beginning of a psychopath. <laughs> um, that is fucked. Holy Bottle. shit. Like, wow. All right, next secret. I just had sex with my fiance and she stuck her finger in my bum while sucking my uncut knob. I must have came for 15 seconds. I thought I was actually pissing in her mouth. I think I might be gay. I'm scared. <laughs> and that's the end of the secrets this week, everyone. <laughs> we give a little bottle for that one. Another bottle. Another bottle. All right, Michael, um, it's time to read some sentences that have never, ever been read before. And it's it's a segment. It's it's still, we don't know. We're it's not sure. A, it's a bit iffy. We're not sure we're about, but you know what? You never know until you give a red hot crack. And that's what we're all about here. <laughs> uh, all right, let's do our sentences first. No, let's do theirs and all then right. finish with ours. All right. <laughs> oh, fuck. The sneezing begins. Okay. <laughs> This is from Jacob Scott Dickers. Jonathan Industrial Industry Corporation Incorporated has requested that you make me a DXM Sunday. Is that a real sentence? Is a DXM, is that a real word? What's a DXM? Yeah. By the way, the rules for this segment, guys, the sentences have to make sense. Not that that didn't make sense, but I have no idea what any of that means. Yeah. But... Hey, I like how he went with fucking, you know. He in, went with his gut. Industrial industry, corporation incorporated. It's pretty um, cool. DXM is a over-the-counter cough medicine. Mm. Fucking hell. What's oh, with the cough syrup? Fucking hell. Shit? I wish I had fucking good, hell. I wish I had good cough syrup here in Australia. Well, I've never done it. Is it like it's meant to get you fully high, right? It's called robo-tripping. You can die from it. Is Probably. it just like fucking... Yeah, media? you had enough of it and you die, brother. <laughs> you drink enough water, you die. Or leaves, yeah. if you eat leaves. You have, you have a few apples. Yeah. Fucking you carpet. fucking have a hundred apples, can't you die? Yeah. <laughs> Sugar. When I was a... Ch- oh, this is from When Adam- I was young. Adam Zippelel. When I was a child, I had a... Tri- oh, sorry, guys. My bad. When okay, I- this one's from Anthony. Me, the Michael Brookhouse Jim Duck has been bum kicked by the penis in front of the room. Nah, sorry. It's just not working. Lachlan Treacy. Slap his rib cage across the sloppy apple tit, then tighten the chankus over the body waist. That's in the kid's lunchbox. Um, chankus. What the fuck's yeah, that? Chankus caught me too. What's chankus? C H A N K A S. Oh, Chankus. I'm sweating. Yeah, it's fucking hot. That's not a... That's not a... Stop my life. 
Live, live, on the, on the floor, 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 floor. Not, Not sure, sure, but Chankis seems to be an ethnic, ethnic group, group that inhabited an area of Peru many years, many years ago. ago. Cool. All right, That's this one's from Tommy. The other day, the priest drugged me and I fainted. Then he fingered me while I painted his tainted region. No, that's definitely been said yeah, before. That happened yeah, yesterday. Yeah, that has definitely happened. That's a script. All right. Yes, it's Christmas time. Prolong it. Save it. Divert your eyes. Yeah. Slowly. Thick. Give it some. Blow it this way. Oh man, you can't blow it. You have to push the energy. See, if I pull back too fast, it'll swirl. Yeah, back yeah, I can't. Me. It's still not. Yeah, it takes a while, man. It's very heavy. It's crawling towards you. Hey, I'm ashamed of myself. <laughs> that was a good one, dude. That was very good. I'm ashamed of myself. <laughs> one day that microphone's gonna like break, and it's just gonna we can t- open it. It's just gonna be full of dry poo particles. <laughs> oh, what were we doing again? I think we were having sex. Squatting on cock. Squatting on cock. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. Don't get my hopes up. I was so excited. You gotta take the good with the bad. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, do you want to go first or me? You go first. You go first. You ready, Matt? Sorry. A fisted kid is a fool kid. That's definitely been said. No. A fisted kid is a a fool fool kid. kid. Yeah, 100% that's been said. I've said that to you. That was going to be the name of our band. Fuck. It's been a long time. Sorry. All right, you'll go. Hold my spine. My hands are full. <laughs> Hold my spine. My, that's good. That's no one's ever going to say that because whose spine is going to be removed? The body would just be a bag of flesh. Are you yeah. sure no one said hold my Can spine? Can you live without a spine? You, no, you, you need messages up to your brain. On that. I'll think you, unless they put in some steel rods. So the brain power can go down and all the way to your fucking extremities and that. <laughs> mm, yeah, okay. Mm. All right. The secret garden can get fucked, and I'm not joking. <laughs> and I'm not joking. My eyes can feel flies crawling on them. It's been said for sure. Scratch out your eyes like a drug addict. Breast milk pancakes harden over time. <laughs> oh, yuck. Imagine having breast milk pancakes. Six. Oh, that is a video. Oh, six. Large erections tore through a village. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> nah, that's happened. Oh, yeah. That's been said and doubt. done. When? When did that happen? Yeah, no. Yeah. 100%. That's all they did. We're Bullshit! S- I can even hear the song they're singing. We're six large erections. We just torn through a village as they skipped out together holding hands. Yeah, there you go. See? Fuck. Proof. All right. My mum's a great kisser. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely been said. Yeah, fuck it. Well, You've said that. Do you reckon? Yeah, that's definitely been said, that sentence. Fuck. It's tricky. Your mum is a good kisser. Yeah, she is. Well, there you go. I don't know about that segment, eh? Comment if you think we should keep it or not. <laughs> oh, I hurt myself. Oh, it's stunt time. And that's oh. the name of the new segment. Michael's got something for you. Olive oil? Shh, 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 shh. Hey, hey, listen, listen. <laughs> Fucking shit. Don't, oh, get some of that. Try no, it. No. I've had my fill, thanks. <laughs> my lungs are full of feces. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, it's stunt time. We haven't done stunt time for a while. And Michael this week has decided that he's either going to crush this lighter with this pair of pliers or he's going to rip some nipple hair out. Uh, oh, oh, no. All right. 
I'm gonna why I'm gonna walk. Hair will be way more entertaining. I'll walk away. I'm gonna walk to the other side of the room. I'm scared. But isn't that unsafe camera gear? Go away from me. I'm scared, Matt. Yeah, Wait, let me film it. I'd rather you rip nipple hairs out. Let me film it. Ready? I'll tell you when. Surely that can't be good. I'll tell you when. Three. Wait, wait, wait. I'm fucking saving my face. Fuck me. Now you guys have got me nervous. Yeah, Three, especially since he's. Wait, I'm scared. Two, Give me time. One. You can't pressure go. this shit. Oh! Do it. No, do dude. Do it. What if I. Do it. Can anything bad happen here? Do it! I'll Google it. Do it! Oh my god! Oh, dude, don't fucking do that. You're scaring me. Why are you running? If we're gonna film it, we film it. This is so. This could be dumb. You ready? Yeah. Fuck me. You, Matt, cover your eyes. Fuck. Okay. I'm scared! I'm scared too! A lot of butane will probably come out. What's that? It's, it's flammable gas. If there's a spark, you'll fucking torch this whole house! I don't, I'm not doing it. You fucking scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I can't fucking lose the house. Let the nipple hairs be ripped. What? Fuck! I'm doing it! It's too weak! Oh, I can't do it. You can't. It, it won't, like, it oh, won't Michael go. failed. Michael failed. I tried my hardest that time too. All right, just rip some nipple hair out, maybe. Yeah, just rip the nipple hair out. Should Marty rip it out for you? No, I'll rip out some. No, do it with the pliers. It doesn't work. I tried before. Look. Oh! <laughs> oh. All right, so I'm going to call this butcher. Should I pretend What's to be his name Arn again? Arnold Fine again, or should I um, pretend to be another butcher nearby? Another that's, butcher nearby. That's, that's just calling out the other butchers, oh, being like, "Have you spoken to this Arnold Fine guy? He keeps ringing me." Yeah, good day, mate. Uh, my name's Jake. I'm just uh, apprentice butcher, just calling from Chermside um, Butcher and Grill, uh, mate. We've just, I'm just doing the rounds. We've just had a couple of calls from um, this bloody Russian guy. Um, of the. Yeah, yeah, mate. Has he called you too, has he? Yeah. <laughs> You're joking. Well, I, I didn't know who the hell he was. I thought someone was having me on. Yeah, mate. No, no. He's, um, he's, apparently, he's a pig farmer. He's just moved to Brizzy. But um, he, after I said no to him, because I found out he's barely got any pigs, he actually brought a pig in store and, like, was, like, it was so dirty and it was just shit all, shit all through the butcher. It was, it was just happened the other day. So I'm, I'm just putting sort of a bit of a... Let um, everyone know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, no, and no. just just getting some info for for yeah, the for no, the bloody cops. Yeah, no, I would have went through him anyway, mate. When he when he rang me, he just sounded way too soft. Yeah, and um, yeah, we'll just keep an ear out, mate. And if he um, if you get anything else, just um, just just give me a buzz because um, yeah, I might I might just bloody forward it onto the cops or something because it's sort Probably of. Probably not a bad idea. It sounds a bit dodgy. Yeah, mate. So I um, mean, yeah, just yeah. keep just keep an ear out for him, mate. Yeah, yeah, we'll do. All right, buddy. Oh, well, we well, appreciate the heads up, mate. No worries, mate. You have a good day, hey. You too, bloke. All right, see you, mate. See you, mate. This has set up a good prank, dude. <laughs> We're gonna fucking take a pig into his butcher. No, well, I'm gonna, th I'm gonna say to him next week when I call him, I'm gonna demand that he sees one of my pigs. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll fucking shave Bosley and bring him in, Colin. <laughs> Holy shit! Stand someone outside and say that's my pig over there, and have Bosley on a leash. Or we could, yeah, we should just keep fucking with him until the season finale, and then let's we'll kill him. Bring the pig in, let's yeah. fucking kill him. <laughs> we'll fucking, we'll fucking stab him to death or something, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Super Saiyan now. Oh, fuck you. Because we're the, the best, best. We're the 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 best.